Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Kansas. And probably the first thing that I think of when I think of the state of Kansas is The Wizard of Oz, one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm pretty sure The Wizard of Oz was the first time that I had ever heard of Kansas when I watched it as a kid. I've been mystified, not only by Oz itself, but by the state of Kansas, where the story begins, where Dorothy and her family live on a farm and it is sucked away by a tornado. A tornado is a very scary thing here in Kansas. But uh, yeah, we're here, we're here today in Wamango, Kansas, and we are in front of the Oz Museum. Yes, what better place for an Oz Museum than right here in Kansas. Like I said, this is one of my favorite all-time movies. It is a movie that you can watch as an adult, as a young child, and still get something out of it. It was a remarkable feat with special effects for its time, and it absolutely holds up to this very day. Love everything about it, except how they treated Julie Garland behind the scenes. But. The movie is still a beautiful piece of cinema, and I'm looking forward to heading into the Oz Museum. So please, follow me. Look up the sign there of the Oz Museum. You can see there's flying monkeys menacing the building. Flying monkey right there above the sign. Another one lurking over there. Love the flying monkeys. See here is a mural of all the main characters. Dorothy, the Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Woodsman. And look at this, a little statue of Toto, uh, Dorothy's dog. He's got poppies on him. Of course, it was a field of poppies that the witch used to uh, put Dorothy and her friends to sleep. There is another Toto statue over here. Looks like you see houses and buildings. Looks like this may just be a Toto themed after maybe the town of Wamango. We peek in the front window here. We can see the scarecrow. As you enter the lobby of the museum here, you can see Dorothy's house is the ticket booth. Buy your tickets there and enter the museum through that door there. You can see the bicycle there on the roof. But to get the true experience before we enter Oz, we need to experience a tornado here in the Oz Tornado Simulator. enter from the porch in to the world of Oz. We start out with Dorothy, of course, as she lands in the Munchkin Village. There's a Munchkin. Those are Munchkin houses. Ah, oh, love it. You can see that the house here come crashing down into Oz, killing the Wicked Witch of the East. And there we have the mayor of the Munchkin City. And lots of artifacts in here. We have L. Frank Baum, the author. 
of the Wizard of Oz. Of course, Wizard of Oz, the books, there was actually not just one book, there was a series of books. The Wizard of Oz was simply part of the series. See, we have the Kabumpo in Oz, the Cowardly Lion of Oz, Grandpa in Oz, the Lost King in Oz, the Hungry Tiger of Oz, the Gnome King of Oz, Giant Horse of Oz, yeah. Jack Pumpkinhead of Oz. I remember Jack Pumpkinhead was actually in the Return to Oz movie, uh, Yellow Knight of Oz, Pirates in Oz, Purple Prince of Oz. You know, I wish they had, uh, wish they had just made these all into awesome movies. Let's see all the different variations and reprints. There's a first edition of the wonderful Wizard of Oz that is worth a dollar or two. See these Oz cutout figures. And that Oz board game back there. Some different versions of Wizard of Oz that actually came out before the most famous version with Judy Garland. And do yourself a favor. These are public domain. Go look them up on YouTube. They are wild. Some artwork from the stories there. Oh, look at that. There's two Tin Woodsmen. Let's look at here. These are stories that, some of these stories occurred outside of the, the main movie. Oh, there they are. Those, those no good flying monkeys. Oh, they see the giant head of Oz there floating above the throne. There you see the uh, flying monkeys carrying away Dorothy, the Tin Man, and Toto. See all these different versions from different countries. See, printed in all these different languages. Some Russian nesting dolls. These gloves here were used in the movie, worn by one of the members of the Lullaby League of the Munchkins. And of course, there's always the very memorable coroner scene where the coroner comes in and shows the certificate of death and, uh, and sings his coroner song. And there is an actual a official Kansas, uh, state of Kansas, uh, certificate of death that they drew up for the Wicked Witch. It says, Place of Death, Land of Oz, City, Munchkin City, and in a middle of a ditch. Full name, Wicked Witch of the East. Female race is witch. These are some replica munchkin outfits. So these would be used in parades and celebrations worn by the actual munchkins from the movie. There is some Dorothy merchandise, as well as some Toto pieces. Now this is a replica the famous dress worn by Judy Garland. And there is actually a small piece of the actual dress. Of course, one of the most famous objects in Wizard of Oz was the ruby slippers. These are not actual ruby slippers from the movies. These are replicas. But according to the sign, um, they were supposed to get an original pair of slippers from the uh, Judy Garland Museum in Minnesota but uh, apparently they were stolen six weeks before they were supposed to come here. It says that they were recovered in 2018, but does not say what happened to them. I don't think they're here. So uh, anyone know where those set of the slippers are? I have seen the ones at the Smithsonian, but I've not seen any of the other pairs that were used. Here we have Dorothy's closest companion, the Scarecrow. You can see him sitting there in a thoughtful pose. You know, he did not have a brain. He was made without a brain, yet somehow he managed to uh, be able to think quickly while him and his friends were in danger. Here's one of the Munchkin soldier suits. It was actually worn in the movie. And of course, here at the Carpet Bagger Channel, we're a huge fan of quilts and quilting. And here is a Wizard of Oz quilt. You can see the sepia-toned Kansas. And it takes you through the story as you follow along. 
Oh yeah, there's the witch plotting with her flying monkeys and uh, going back to Kansas and finally waking up in bed in Kansas, but right there in the middle is Oz. So we travel along the Yellow Brook Road, another one of Dorothy's companion, the Tin Woodsman. He was uh, made without a heart. He was seeking to find a heart, although he truly cared for his friends all along. He was frozen in place. He got left out in the rain. So you have to keep oiling him with his trusty oil can. Also, I know that there's some uh, red apples there maybe thrown at him by some of the haunted trees that exist around Oz. There's some more toys from Oz. There's some Barbie style figures in Oz costumes. Look at that. The Winky Guard with the flying monkey. I would love to have my own flying monkey. And uh Oh, troll, <laughs> some troll characters. Look at their hair, look at the lion, the tinsman, tin woodsman, scarecrow, and there's Dorothy, and then the witch is up there at the top. There's a wizard about a showboat, that's kind of an interesting piece. And then the tin man, he's some sort of robot. Yeah, it's the tin man of Oz robot. Yeah. There's a pennant from the Ice Capades. These are soapy caves? Okay, those are like pieces of soap shaped like Oz characters. Apparently they made Oz peanut butter at one point. Oh, that, that jar there in the middle has some peanut butter still in it. And look at these big giant buckets of peanut butter. Here at the First National Bank of Wamengo, we have uh, some explanations on how they did some of the uh, special effects in Wizard of Oz. Of course, it is an absolutely spectacular movie with some great effects, but it was all practical effects. They had uh, no uh, way to, uh, to do digital effects or anything of the sort. So this was a kind of how they made the tornado. It was actually a 35 foot tall piece of cloth in a funnel that was made to, to spin around and, and be blown by fans. You can see the Gale farmhouse there being flung by the tornado. And this is interesting because of the coloration process they used. Um, they'd use different colors on, on set. They said that uh, some of the whites that Dorothy wore were actually pink to be picked up better by the camera. This display case here has the possessions of Olga the Dancing Doll. She was one of the performers that uh, played a munchkin. Some little statue over there. It's her makeup case, her dress, her little tiny ballet slippers. It's her suitcase there with some more items in it. And her chair that read Olga the Dancing Doll. These are items given by the International Wizard of Oz Club. Looks like there's a lot of maps of Oz here in this case. And actually this one here, this is a map of the uh, Beach Mountain Oz theme park in uh, Beach Mountain, North Carolina. And I actually have this hanging up in my house. Uh, very cool to see it here. The Caw Valley State Bank here has some uh, marionettes. See the Tin Man marionette there and a scarecrow marionette. This is uh, the passport of Ray Bulger who played uh, the scarecrow. Actually this is uh, him in, in later years but yeah it's his actual passport. It says here that uh, Ray Bulger actually had the makeup permanently tattoo his face and that some of those lines that were drawn on his face stayed there the rest of his life. Yeah, the makeup was no joke here. Buddy Epson originally supposed to play the Scarecrow, but they used uh, aluminum powder in the makeup that put him in the hospital, and uh, so he had to be replaced. It was, it was tough times in Hollywood. Of course, the Cowardly Lion. It's a Cowardly Lion. Marionette right there. There's John Lahr 
Notes on a Cowardly Lion. We have a movie theater here in the back. It says The Wizard of Oz. And they actually play Wizard of Oz on a loop back here. Looks like the witch has just been melted. And there's that cowardly lion. You know, the scarecrow was smart all along. The, uh, the tin man, he cared, even though he allegedly didn't have a heart. The cowardly lion, he said he didn't have any courage, and, and he, and he, and he kind of didn't. <laughs> he was kind of really actually cowardly, but you know, I think in the end he did, he did overcome his fears and uh, help kill the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh no, it's like things just got intense here. We're heading into the haunted forest, the witch's castle. So I, I'd turn back if I were you. Oh man, I'm not gonna get jump scared in the Oz Museum, am I? There we have, in the dark, the Wicked Witch of the West. And here is the Wicked Witch case. All these toys and dolls of the Wicked Witch herself. This is actually used in the film. These glasses were worn by uh, Margaret Hamilton as she was uh, Miss Gulch. With the witch there consulting with her flying monkeys, about to send them out to go capture Dorothy. I love this, the flying monkey case. Again, one of my favorite just character designs of all time, the flying monkey from that movie. There's the winky guard right there. And then you see the monkeys flying through the air. There is one of the Winky Guards who ominously chanted, Oh, we, oh, oh, oh. Says that the spear here was actually used in the movie. And um, the, the, the costume here is a replica. But uh, yeah, very cool. Says that this Munchkin house here actually used in the film The Muppets Wizard of Oz. Some other great looking Oz toys. Man, there are so many toys based on that movie. And a movie that I have a true soft spot for, Return to Oz. This movie, this movie is something else. It is terrifying, but it is amazing at the same time. It blindsided me as a kid who was expecting a happy sequel to Wizard of Oz. It's an unofficial sequel. It was made by Disney, Walt Disney. Um, and uh, so they couldn't use uh, certain things from the original movie, but they made up for it with all these, these crazy characters. One of the most memorable characters, of course, Jack Pumpkinhead there. And you see the, the Dorothy had a chicken instead of Toto for some reason. And if you look over here, this plate here was actually part of the TikToks uh, costume. TikTok was a was a robot, a uh, a brass soldier, and this was actually a plate. It says patented clockwork mechanical man. Dorothy actually reads off that uh, off that this plate in the movie. Yeah, yeah. For, it says for thinking, wind number one under left arm for speaking, wind number two under right arm for walking action. Wine number three, middle of back. He had different gears that he would turn for different actions. That's really cool. Yeah, and there's TikTok in toy form there. It says this was a rare uh, figure sold at uh, the Disney parks in Japan. Possibly the scariest thing in this movie was these creatures called the wheelers. These, these, uh, that had, had wheels instead of arms, and they, they were terrifying. They chased Dorothy. And actually, I'm gonna take it back. They were not the scariest thing in the movie because this woman who could switch her head and had a hallway of severed heads that she switched her own head with, she was the scariest thing. It, this movie's terrifying. It's, it's great, but it's terrifying. There's the good witch, Glenda. Although I, I, I've seen some articles online where they talk about how Glenda was secretly the villain in the movie because she actually used Dorothy as a pawn to uh, kill her nemesis, 
the Wicked Witch when she actually had the power to just send Dorothy back to Kansas uh, right away. It's interesting if you break it down. Bell out of order, please knock. So we go through the gates of Oz here. Oh, look at this, we got a hot air balloon photo op. Yeah, it was the Omaha State Fair that the wizard, who was just a normal man, uh, was flying in a hot air balloon and got blown to Oz and then took over the role of the wizard. Here's some other versions of the Wizard of Oz. The play Wicked, which treated the uh, Wicked Witch of the West as the protagonist. And they have some props here. They have uh, some, some boots that were worn by an Oz Denzin. A green elixir bottle used by the Wizard of Oz. And some green spectacles used by a Denzin of Oz. And here we have the Wiz, a version of the Wizard of Oz where uh, Michael Jackson played the Scarecrow and uh, the cast was primarily African-American. Here's kind of a forgotten movie. Does anyone remember the Oz the Great and Powerful? Another Disney sequel or prequel of uh, The Wizard of Oz. And uh, I remember seeing this and I remember thinking it was, it was okay, it was all right. It didn't offend me, it didn't ruin my childhood. But uh, yeah, I don't, think it was a very, I don't think it was a very big hit. And then Legends of Oz in 3D, Dorothy's Return. Yeah, I've never heard of that. As we see the sepia door. We head back into Kansas and through the gift shop. And they have women's ruby slippers, but they actually are slippers in the traditional sense. They have children's ruby slippers. No men's, no men's ruby slippers. And just two doors down, from the Oz Museum, we have Toto's Tacos. Sounds delish. You can see that big twister there in the window. So I ordered what is known as the Yellow Brick Burrito. Also got a Grapefruit Burrito. It's a Mexican soda, love the grapefruit flavor. All right, let's give this Yellow Brick Burrito, try it smothered in cheese. Got steak, rice, and beans in there. Mmm, mm, very good. Love all the cheese, got the salsa on top. Great taste. Now it appears they do have different totos decorated all through the town. Different versions of Toto. You see, this is a windmill toto and check this out right across the street from the oz museum we have the yellow brick road and what else is there to do other than follow it oh we got an emerald toto right there as we head along the yellow brick road we see Dorothy landing in the Munchkin City there, talking to Glenda. Oh, here we have the, the Scarecrow hung up on his pole, asking Dorothy for help. The Tin Woodsman there with an apple. Oh, poor Cowardly Lion. See tears running down his face. And look at that. We made it. To the Emerald City. The Yellowbrook Road continues. It says, caution, watch for vehicles and low-flying monkeys. We'll take a note of that. A little garden over here. It's a puzzle. And uh, down here we see a variety of red-colored footwear. Decorated with some of the characters. 
Looks like there's some Cowardly Lion slippers. Some red shoes over here by the Tin Man. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. And as we reach the end of the yellow brick road, oh, we have a Toto. Looks like a Toto covered in the yellow brick road. So it is yellow brick Toto. That is so much Wizard of Oz. It's like the world is folding in on itself. Exodus as we tour the Wizard of Oz Museum and walk the yellow brick road. Love Wizard of Oz, love Wizard of Oz themed attractions. And when you're in Kansas, you've got, sorry I had a bug on my glasses. When you're in Kansas, you've got to check out the Wizard of Oz attractions. Uh, if you like this video, consider checking out some of the older videos on this channel. I've been to the 48 continental United States filming museums, roadside attractions, amusement parks, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also, in the Etsy shop, we have different styles of enamel pins. And if you want to subscribe, that would help as well. Let you know when new videos come out. There, The videos are constantly coming out on this channel. I have a very regular upload schedule. And uh, until next time, this one's in the bag.